Okay, so we're going to look at uh, this question, 2011, paper 1, question 22. Right, for this question, uh, let's read the question first. A light ray strikes the surface of a glass block, uh, as shown in the diagram below. The refractive index of the glass block is 1.5. By how many degrees does the light ray change direction when, the, when it enters the glass? Okay, so that's the question. So, uh, this looks like a very simple question, but we have to be very careful about uh, some things, but I will not mention that yet. So the first thing we need to remember is that this is a question where the light ray is going from air to glass, which is from less dense to more dense. Now when the light ray is going from less dense to more dense, the question is simple. Okay, there's only one criteria, and that is refract towards the normal. And then the formula to use is n equal to sine i over sine r. So, so knowing this information, the, uh, the first thing you need to be careful about is that this is not your angle of incident i. This is actually the angle we mix with the uh, interface. So what you need to do is to draw the normal and to find the angle of incident. But fortunately, this question has been very kind. The angle of incident happened to be the same. So even if you commit this error, you will not be penalized. Right? So, so the first thing you know that this is the angle of incidence. Then the second thing is that we sub the formula refractive index equal to sine i over sine r. So from there, we work out the angle to be 28.1 degrees. So what it meant is that the ray will actually bend towards the normal. Okay, and this angle will be 28.1 degrees. However, this is not the angle that they want you to find because if you read the question carefully, it says how, man, how many degrees does the light ray change direction? So what it means is that if originally there is no medium of glass, it will just go through like that. So due to this medium of glass, it actually changed by these degrees, right? So first is we need to know this original angle, this total original angle. Now this is simple because the total original angle using vertically opposite angles, this line and this line, is 45 degrees. So if this is 45 degrees, this is 28.1. This change will simply be 45 minus 28.1 equals 16.9 degrees or to round out 17 degrees. So the answer is C. Okay, so that's the answer.